All right, our next unit is on um, direct current in DC circuits. So um, in this video, I'm going to tell you about current, drift velocity, and current density. So let's first start out with a definition of current density, or excuse me, a definition of current. Um, if we have a wire, this is a, a wire, this is the cross section of the wire. Here are some um, electrons, we'll say, that are moving. Now electrons, when they move through here, um, they don't move in a straight line when they move through a wire. They get going when you put an electric field, say the electric field's heading that way. Well, if there's an electric field heading to the left, then the electrons start moving to the right, but they bounce into particles along the way. So they, they take these weird paths, but they do drift. You know, even though they don't go straight that way, their general direction is down the wire, but only at centimeters per second, not, not you know, what you might think of, you know, hundreds of meters per second or faster. They go very slow. They drift along. Well, in any case, the uh, current is going to be equal to, we're going to designate current with an I, just like you did last year. And um, that is going to equal the amount of charge, these charges, that go through a cross-sectional area per given time. So that's average current, the amount of charges that actually go past that cross-sectional area. Um, of course, we have an instantaneous current, too. And that would be, as you might guess, dq dt. Okay, so the, the numerator is the amount of charge that passes through the cross-sectional area in a given time t. So um, that means that the units for current are going to be, the units for current are going to be um, coulombs per second. So a coulomb per second that's equal to an amp. Or we can, sh yeah, that's equal to an amp. Okay, so um, that is what current is all about. Now let me tell you what current density is all about. Sometimes we want to talk about the current density. And what we mean by that is just um, how dense the current is. So it's the, it's the current um, per cross-sectional area. Okay, so it's the current density. We're going to designate with a J. That's going to represent current density. And that's J is going to equal, is going to be equal to the current per cross-sectional area. So that would be, um, that would, the units for that would be amps per square meter. That's what current density is measured in amps per square meter. Sometimes we abbreviate an amp with just an A, capital A. All right, so that's current density. Now, um, one other thing I would like to show you is that um, there's an equation that relates drift velocity, how fast these things drift along, um, to current. And so I want to show you that. So imagine, if you will, that we have this volume in this wire of two cross-sectional areas, so this cross-sectional area and say this cross-sectional area. And let's say that in a time t, all these charges that are in this cross-section move from here to out of there. They actually go past there. So in a time t, then, if in a time t, these all, all of them, the very last ones are gone, they passed this, they were here in this region, and now they go by this cross-sectional region. Okay, well, I'm going to say that that all occurred in a time t, and the, dis the, the distance here, we could call that x, or delta x. Now come on over here with me, and let's talk about drift velocity and delta x. I'm going to use this little patch of area here. Okay, so if drift velocity for an electron is how far it goes on average per time. Then if I multiply the drift velocity times the time, 
That's how far it's going to go. So you see this delta x right there? That delta x is VD delta T. That's what I'm going to tell you it is. And so um, now let's talk about um, an equation that relates drift velocity to current. Okay, since I is the amount of current that passes through in a given time, let's create one other um, quantity, and that is the quantity that we're going to create is is going to be designated with an N, and it's going to be called the charge density. N is the is equal to the amount of charges in a volume. Amount oops, amount of charge per volume. Or charge carriers per volume. And so um, in that time, you see, if I wanted to know just how much charge passes through here in a given time, all this charge that passes through there in a given time, that would be current. And so the amount of charge that passes through there is just how much, how many particles there are in there. So that'd be N times the volume, because N times the volume is the amount of charge. So N times the volume. And I'm going to write that out, because I don't want you to think that's, vo that's velocity. N times volume is the amount of charge passing through. Okay, now, but that doesn't tell me the... I also need the, um, the charge on each one. So the charge on each one we're going to say is Q. So if these were electrons, Q would be 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. See, that is the total charge. That total charge is the, is the density times the volume. That gets you the number. This is just going to give you the number of charges. But then time, you have to multiply it by the charge of those charges and then divide it by time. Okay, one more time because this uh, that's kind of weird. Is that you're going to take the no this is the number of charges per volume times a volume gives you the number of charges times the charge on the charges, uh, and that gives you the total charge. That gives you delta Q divided by time. Okay, well then I is equal to um, n times the volume. Now the volume we're talking about is this volume. And this volume is going to be um, this area, A, the cross-sectional area, times this width. Because isn't the volume of a cylinder um, the area of a circle times the height of the circle, or what, whatever that dimension is? So it's going to be A delta X. So it's going to be A, cross-sectional area, times delta x. Now delta x is the drift velocity times time. So that's, so this right here is the volume. The bracketed thing is the volume. This bracket is volume. That's the cross-sectional area and that's a dis, that's going to be a distance. Drift velocity times time. Times q all over um, delta t. That gets you the charge. Okay, now this is a delta T too. I wrote this as delta T and that is delta T, but that's going to just cancel out. The T and the T are going to cancel out. And so this is going to be N times A times VD times Q. So the, char the current that's flowing through a wire is equal to the volume... Char the the volume the amount of charge charges per volume times the cross sectional area times the drift velocity over the charge per given per giving th this is normally going to be a, the a charge on an electron. Okay, look at what current density is. It being I over A, it's going to be equal to N A V D Q all over A. And so the A cancels out the cross-sectional area and charge the current density is just going to be N times the drift velocity times the charge for one electron. All right, lots of number juggling. See you in the next video.